we're out on the river today on this uh, Bayliner uh, 1750 Capri. These Bayliner 175s and 1750s are an ideal starter boat. I always think they're very easy to manage both on and off the water. They um, very good hulls on them. This this one's fitted with a Mercruiser 3 litre 135 horsepower steering drive which is a good match to the hull. Gets it up on plane quickly. It'll plane down the slow speeds. They got a nice little deep V angle on the transom um, and it'll do 45 miles an hour flat out too so good enough for water sports and things with the family as well. Beautiful looking boat, nice seating layout, rated to carry six passengers plus gear. Um, this one's in nice condition all the way around and she's running beautifully on the water. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this one on the plane, we're going to take it up to a cruising speed and open it uh, full throttle, do a full throttle run and just show you how the boat behaves on the water and how it looks from the helm seat. Before we get started I'll just walk you through the dash here so full range of marine instruments here. Um, we have, let's zoom in so it's a bit easier to see, oil pressure gauge here sitting just below 40 psi uh, at idle which is good and that's going up and down with engine revs which is what you want it to do. The temperature gauge, the boat's fully warmed up, we've been on the water for 10 or 15 minutes now and it's sitting at 175 degrees uh, Fahrenheit which is the center of the gauge exactly where you want it and it's not budging even under um, you know, heavy acceleration and things. The speedo is currently not working but these work off pedo pressure so they're a little plastic tube and just works off air pressure and it's pretty common for those to get a wee bit of sand or silt or something in there that can block it up so we'll probably have to put the airline on that just to blow it back out um, I'm sure it'll come back to life but uh, it's just stuck at the moment. Rev counter is working you'll see that um, we'll take cruising speeds about 3000 rpm and, and then we'll open it out full speed as well. Fuel gauge is working as is a bit of a theme at the minute, there's not a whole lot of fuel in this, so let's hope we don't run out. And voltmeters showing 13.6 or 7 volts there, um, so the engine is charging. All the switches on the dash are working as well. Horn, navigation lights are working, anchor light. Just turn that off. Builds blower motor is working, builds pump is working, and accessory power. And we've also got the wee stereo over there. So the dash, apart from the speedo, which will get sorted, is all fully operational. Uh, the gear shift on this boat is um, well balanced, so the gear shift on this boat is well balanced as well, so forward gear and reverse, nice steady idle on her, um, starting easily as well, um, it has been well looked after and um, you know it, it uh, performs like a boat that's been taken care of. So let's put it in the gear, we will take it up to cruising speed first of all because we don't have the the speedo here i'll have to tell you the speeds i've, I've checked it on my phone so at 3000 rpm i have a little speed navigation app on the phone at 3000 rpm the boat's running at about 18 knots um, which is roughly i think about 21 22 miles an hour and flat out i was seeing up to 38 39 knots which is around about 45 46 miles an hour so it's going well actually and uh, feels nice and strong on her acceleration too. So let's put the boat on plane here now. So just the slightest wee bit of bow rise there, but you don't really lose sight of the horizon and the nose drops down very quickly. So the boat's up on plane quick, which is great for pulling water toys or water skiers and things. And this is a lovely comfortable cruising speed. Not too 
noisy, you can sit and have a conversation with your passengers and things. So it is a nice comfortable cruise on this boat. Uh, but let's open it out, uh, do a full speed run now. Dolphin there, <laughs> just try to stand up to see if I can see it any better. So, there's definitely a few dolphins playing around over there. You probably didn't see them on the camera, but it uh, would have been good to get a close up. Anyway, so as you can see. At full speed, we were doing uh, just over 5,000 RPM. Again, oil pressures and temperatures were all perfect. Boat runs really good. At that 5,000 odd RPM, it does, uh, it's doing about 38 to 39 knots, which is 40, in and around 45 miles an hour. So plenty of performance on tap with this wee boat as well. So there you go, that's um, our Bayliner 1750 Capri. Uh, these are a cracking little boat. This one's a beautiful example, an incredible shape for her age. Running very nicely, mechanically good. The dash is all working by that speedo, which is going to get sorted. Gear shift, steering, and everything's nice and light and smooth. Um, and I think these really do make a fantastic starter boat. Um, they're the best in the market in terms of, in my opinion, you know, for a used starter boat. Being under 1750, being under 175, um, it's hard to beat for nice hull shape easy planing design they're fuel efficient and they'll do the, they'll do everything you can cruise along in comfort um, all day long at about 20 miles an hour or you can uh, go and have a bit of fun with uh, the water skis and the water toys and stuff like that and it'll do 45 flat out whenever you want to so hopefully this gives you a bit of an idea of how this the condition this one's in and how it runs on the water thanks for watching <laughs>